How's it going, everybody? It's Than from Tidal Gardens. Now, you may or may not know, but Tidal Gardens is a greenhouse-based aquaculture system, and I get asked a lot of questions about the greenhouse itself. So, life in a greenhouse is not all perfect. There's a lot of positives, and there's a lot of negatives when it comes to growing coral out in a greenhouse. So, this video is going to be the top five things that I like about having a greenhouse and the top five things that I absolutely hate about having a greenhouse. So let's get right to it. The number one thing about having a greenhouse is natural light. It's actually the whole point of the greenhouse. In theory, we have a perfect light source with the perfect spectrum on the perfect timer that does both sun phases, moon phases, seasons, absolutely everything. And it's free if you have a greenhouse. Another really underestimated aspect of having natural light is having natural moonlight. Our corals derive a lot of their behavior around moonlight phases. For example, sexual reproduction is pretty much all regulated by moon phases and also the gravity from the moon. So since our home aquariums generally lack moon phases, um, you typically do not see a lot of sexual reproduction, the sperm and egg release from corals. The number two reason is the greenhouse is essentially a tropical oasis in the wintertime. Right now we're in mid-November and it is about 40 degrees outside. By the time January or February rolls around, it's going to be close to zero degrees Fahrenheit. And inside the greenhouse, it's going to be a very, very, very tropical 80 degrees pretty much the entire winter. It's typically bright and sunny, it's humid, it's great for your skin in the winter. So being able to escape to a place like that, be splashing around in like warm tropical waters, looking at pretty things, come wintertime in Ohio, it's a really, really, really nice perk of working here. The number three reason to have a greenhouse is industrial construction. Now, a lot of folks don't really realize it, but when you start getting into water volumes that are in the 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, or in our case, 5,000, um, that's a lot of humidity that gets sent up into the, into the air. And that humidity will absolutely rot out regular home construction. Um, we actually knew of a person that had built a 4,000 gallon aquarium in their home, and pretty much it would put about 100 gallons uh, per day into the walls and that tank just had to go. So the greenhouse being pretty much all polycarbonate and aluminum is very, very, very resistant to those, uh, to the humidity issues that you run into that a typical home or a typical building would just get killed by. Now going along with that whole industrial construction bit, um, it's also very spill resistant. Now, if you can imagine spilling maybe like a five gallon bucket in your home, that's a disaster. I mean, let's be serious, like five gallons on your floor, on your carpet, it's going to be a serious mess to clean up. At the greenhouse, I have personally seen a spill that was on the order of 400 gallons, and it was not a big deal. It's fine. Top off your tank again. I mean, you'll want to avoid it, but it's not the end of the world. Nobody's going to get divorced over this. The number four benefit to having a greenhouse is it is very, very easy to clean. And by very easy to clean, I mean we just hose the whole place down occasionally, and in the end you have a fresh smelling greenhouse. Ever tried hosing down the inside of your house? Not so good. The fifth major benefit to having a greenhouse is that it's not really a house so you don't really run into a lot of the aesthetic issues that you might and I'm thinking about utilities specifically if we wanted to add let's say uh, more water lines add a gas line electrical it's actually really nice to have um, a very open space that you don't have to worry about drywalling it after you're done you don't have to worry about painting it stays very rough so um, on like a, like a technical utility basis, it's quite nice. The number one reason I hate having a greenhouse is natural sunlight, which is also the number one reason to have a greenhouse. And the problem is specifically summertime sunlight. If you take your PAR meter outside during the summer, you're gonna get a reading of about 3,000 on a bright July day. So the number one reason, yeah, it's actually the natural sunlight. It's not good for a few months in the year. 
And by not that good for a few months in the year, I mean it's killing your corals really bad. The number two reason I really hate having a greenhouse is the seasons. Now, seasons are kind of nice for people just to get like a change of pace and everything like that, but man, our corals hate it. Like the, the light intensity in the summer is way different than the light intensity in the winter. And it's, a, it's kind of an ordeal to manage that, that change in seasonality. If you ever run into a system of lighting that boasts that it has, it, that it takes into account seasonality, just run away. It's, it's a horrific idea, just terrible. Don't do it, just no, don't do it. The number three reason why I hate having a greenhouse is that it's essentially an outdoor structure. Now, what do I mean by it's essentially an outdoor structure? It means that there's mosquitoes, lots of mosquitoes. We have a bright blue glowing building that is open air, which means that if you're in the greenhouse after that sun goes down in the summertime, you are so screwed. Those mosquitoes are going to bleed you dry by the time you can crawl back inside. It's over. The number four reason I hate having a greenhouse kind of ties to one of the one of the things I liked about having a greenhouse in that industrial construction. Remember how I said that the greenhouse itself, it's aluminum, it's, uh, it's steel, it's uh, polycarbonate. It's very resistant to humidity. Everything else is not. So you pretty much have anything that's not actually the greenhouse immediately starts to crumble. Rust is a major problem. People think that like stainless steel doesn't rust. Wrong. We rust stainless steel every single day. Um, if you have any kind of electronics, say goodbye. It's, it's going to be on a timer as soon as it gets into that greenhouse. So the number five reason I hate having a greenhouse is we attract a lot of law enforcement. I mean, we basically look like a pot growing operation. Um, you have these lights that kind of can be seen from space. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of helicopters flying overhead. Lots of helicopters. All the time. Okay guys, that in a nutshell is the top five reasons I love and hate having a greenhouse. So I hope that clarified a couple of things and uh, yeah, if you guys have any specific questions, let me know in the comments below and I'll see if I can actually answer them occasionally. Thanks again and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Take care now.